Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is going to be my final day with Smart Tank. I've been using it for the last couple months on various different tests and I have to tell you, I have never seen a product quite like this. But I have not done a video on its menus and showing you how you pull the reports and paste them in your work orders. Show you some of the extra feature sets. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. If you have any other questions on the Smart Tank, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them for you. I take this unit to shows and it's got positive response. Every time I take it out, anybody that does capnography, they say it's a big thumbs up because capnography can be a bear, especially when you got various models. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menus. We'll go through the boot up, we'll connect it to the computer and I'll show you exactly what it does. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Remember, it is a battery powered unit. It is on battery right now. I've got various tests that are already saved inside the unit and we are going to put them over on the computer. You see, I've got the USB cord connected. When it boots up, it's gonna show you all its information on the splash screen. Proceed. Once you are in the USB menu, you can see that it gives you two options. One is serial, if you want to stream the data over to your PC, which you can see I've got Pandora running. Um, or you can click on Drive. It gives you some instructions, but basically what that does is it enables it as a USB thumb drive, which is very cool, because you can click on it. And just like any thumb drive, you can say continue without scanning. So the first one that we have here is called all tests and inside all tests are all the customized tests that they have preloaded on the system. These can be customized even yet further. If there's any kind of changes that you want to request, they'll gladly do it for you. If you need to simplify some of the tests, some of them will be a little bit wordy because they're verbatim as per the manual. Not all tests have to be exactly verbatim and you can get those customized if you want. And this is where you're going to put them. Let's go ahead and back up. Archive. Nah, this archive folder is blank. Config. This is where you have your calibrations. We're not going to do too much in there. Reports is where it's at. So inside the reports, you can see I've got a bunch of different tests, various tests that I've been running and experiencing. We can pull them up. I have it defaulted for uh, Notepad, that's why it looks like this. But you can see how in-depth these tests really are. You can see that they go ahead and they have the disclaimers on there. They'll have the bottle gas and its calibration date, its expiration date rather. Uh, the type of calibration gas, all that will be in here. And you can see that it gives results right over here. Pass, pass, pass. Very neat. Let's load another test. All right. As you can see, as I'm running through the tests, I was getting failed results on this particular module because this module was already broke. But you can get the point. So what you would do is I highlight all the results and I paste that into the notes on the work order. Or you can just export this file right here, which you can see it's actually saved as the asset ID and the model for whatever you said along with the date. So it's asset ID, the model manufacturer, and the date, which is extremely cool because usually when you're doing a work order, you're doing it based on the asset ID. So you can see right here, I was playing around. I had the asset ID of 555 and the test is flow and leak. Down here, 46794. That was a test. So you get the point. You're gonna take that and you're gonna throw it in your work order and you're good to go. And if you wanna exit this menu, you press the power button once and it backs you up. And we can go down and you can see all the reports here on the device. It's basically the same thing that we had over there but here you can actually browse through the report on the device without exporting it to a PC, which is kind of cool. And you've seen that my archive folder was empty. 
So if you want to clean this up in between technicians, you can archive all of them. It'll clear this folder out. And if you need to pull those, you go into the archive folder that I showed you before on the PC. And there we go. Um, we've gone over the tests, all the different tests that we have. I really, really dig the sample flow and leak because that one there, although I use GE modules, it's mainly for other than GE modules. There's various reasons for that, guys, but if you have other types of capnography devices, it works awesome. So, unfortunately, I have all GE. <laughs> Manual modes is the other thing that I was in and I showed you guys a video of. I really, really dig that it's got a manometer built in, which I then would use the pressure port. And let's see, the flow meter. Flow meter is also really cool. And if I remember right, yep, there we go. So you can actually set your alarms by touching them. You see that? Very cool. There was a lot of stuff that they showed me that you can do in here. It would take a whole entire class to go through and show everybody. Everything's customizable on these. Let's see, yep. Breath simulation was one of my favorite things that we can do. And um, it basically creates the waveform on your capnography module. And um, that's a, a simple function check. If you really want to check it really quick, just put on breath simulation and check your numbers. Boop. Anyway, guys, it's kind of a sad day. I've got to give back my smart tank. It's got to go back because I do think that this thing needs to be out there a little bit more, show other people what it can do because this is the type of technology right here that's going to change the way we do business. I'm pretty firm on that because one of the things I've always said is we need to be able to introduce Biomed once to test equipment and they have to be able to grab it and go. I should be able to show them how to do things once and other than that the device should be self-explanatory from there on this device clearly does that it's got step-by-step -step instructions for everything and since uh, the company has said that they will work with anybody on simplifying any test however they want they will email you the test and you connect it to your pc just as i showed and then you're going to go ahead and throw it into the test folder and ta-da you have a new test it's that easy, guys. So anyway, I hope you like this video. It's the last video that I'm going to do for a while on Smart Tank because <laughs> I'm in a new position and I have no more capnography to test it on at the moment. I will in the future. Maybe I'm going to take one of these devices into a hospital and show people in person there. But at the moment, I have no more capnography. Device has to go back. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys.